Hello everyone, uh, this is a view to X-ray Echo Kiran. Today I just want to walk you through Fornac design software for the antenna modeling. This is not going to be a complete guide to use Fornac 2, but uh, my intention is to get someone started on this with some simple steps. This is the main window of the software. We have this option of editing a NAC input file. When we click that, this geometric editor will come up. This has got three axes, X, Y, and Z. Normally, so what we do is we create a new file. We have to edit this uh, target frequency. In my case, I want to build, let us say I want to build a very simple dipole for 14.1 megahertz. Then I will choose uh, the ground. Instead of free space, I will use a mini neck ground. And uh, now this particular green line out here corresponds to my ground axis, the base, and uh, Z axis is in the vertical line. So if I just want to make vertical with the ground radials, I can click this wire button and place that uh, here and then drag it to the ground. First thing it will ask is about wire radius. Keep it as a default. The radius matters a lot. Higher the radius, the lo lower the frequency of resonance for the same length. So I will use this 1mm as a default right now, and it has been connected. And then what I need to do is simply add this uh, source information. Click on add here and click on this source button. Click on anywhere, anywhere in the screen and drag that to the base of this, okay? This is the ideal good ground. I have not connected any radial systems. We can simulate that as well. So now uh, what I will do is I will go to this particular calculator symbol out here. I have uh, two or three main options normally work with. What I do is I will first do the frequency sweep. Frequency for sweep for me, let us say I will take it from 13 to 15 megahertz and uh, 0.2 megahertz uh, step. Then I will not touch any other aspects out here. Then I will say generate. Once I generate, graph will come, gain SWR impedance. So this particular screen shows SWR gain and impedance. SWR is normally what we look for with the reflection coefficient. I can see that on the lower side, it is dipping out here. I will have to see where exactly it is dipping or where exactly it is resonating. For that, I will go to impedance, pay, impedance uh, menu of this, right? Then I see that X is decreasing towards the left. X is in the red, pure resistive component is in the blue. What it, this particular graph indicates is my resonance uh, is on the lower side. Or in other words, my antenna is taller than what it is supposed to be. So then I will go here. I will see hit the symbol uh, wire button and go here and see that, okay, this is around 6.25. 6.25 meters high so what i can do now is bring that to quarter wave quarter wave of 20 meter is around 5 meters right so it was higher okay now it is now 5 meters now let us see how the characteristics again so now we can see that it is resonating at around 14.6 since we know that it is around this i will increase the resolution of this uh, step then I will slightly increase the height of this as well. So what I will do is I will increase this height from 5 to 5.1. When I am doing the simulation, I will increase this from 13.8 to 14.6, okay? And I will decrease this to 0 0.05, 50, <clears throat> 50 kilohertz from earlier 200 kilohertz. Now I will generate it. Now I can see that between 13.8 and 14.6 curve has come and now it is, uh, we can see that it is resonating somewhere around 14.25. You can actually uh, go with this method to further bring down this particular, uh, increase the length and bring down the frequency. I have increased the length by 5 centimeter or 0 0.05 meters, okay. Now I'll gen generate once again. I can see that my desired uh, 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 frequency was around 14.150. It is very close. Now I can decide whether I want to further tune it or le let it uh, be here. 
there are few things which uh, which are to be noted one is about resistance of this right since we have chosen pure ground so you can see that the resistance is 36 now since we have done this type of uh, activity and uh, seen that this is uh, resonating at around 14.125 probably second thing which i normally is looking for is gain and then there is a swr and now what we will do do a far field pattern and a near field pattern as well far field pattern for 14.1 megahertz okay this is a uh, this is a vertical plane graph okay each uh, the major section here is 15 degree from the horizon and then this particular line out here this is uh, uh, just above the uh, vertical to in the sky right so what we normally take into consideration is between zero degree and 30 degree is where the maximum dx angles are right even then for the long range it is between 0 and 15 degrees the more the gain you are having in this direction the better so you here we can see that at for 15 degrees from the ground it is around 0.15 db okay now uh, let us see if there is any improvement with respect to the sea water as a ground the, let us go with the same uh, particular far field pattern and see where the gains are right here you can see at 15 degree it is 4.33 dbs and it increase it is still at, near to the horizon it is 4.3 dbs the maximum gain is 4.3 dbs at around 10 degrees from the horizon it is 4.47 so when you see this and compare it to the other one it is around 4, 4 dbs above the normal ground but however there are two other things which i just want to show you so we can show the structure structure is visible when we say show structure then i can show the vertical pattern also you can see that it is omnidirectional there is no directivity in this and also on the right side you, you can see that there is a donut shape uh, which is uh, forming out here and then what we can see is like a current magnitude you can see that the current maximum is towards the feed point and current minimum is on the tips the voltage is going to be huge out here when the current is lowest voltage is going to be the other other way in this case you can see that this is uh, we are having uh, uh, this green line shows a current maximum point uh, for now this is about a far field pattern and how actually it radius we will go back and we will now go to the near field pattern okay near field is very near to the antenna gives me the idea about how much energy or the voltage is around that particular antenna we can see that the pink color is a 250 volts per meter at the edge of this particular antenna so that when the tip is near to the branches of the tree uh, it is uh, going to be another factor because uh, in the rainy season or in the salty condition it, there may be uh, sparks appearing in these areas here we actually modeled a very simple vertical antenna with one source for 20 meters the frequency is shown here and then there is another aspect is about uh, choosing this particular wire and uh, seeing how much segments i have to use uh, segments gives the uh, more accuracy in in analyzing for the uh, for the software i keep this default the more segments it is more time it will take to analyze and more accurate the model will be source has been placed out here it will snap to the segments actually okay so the more uh, more finer the segments you can place the sources accurately and the analysis also will be in the similar lines another uh, area i want to uh, emphasize is about material of this particular antenna and the any coating or loading happening so that can be done with adding rlc loading you click on rlc loading and say add and drag that on anywhere on this wire once you drag on the wire you select the wire load for uh, making the wire load uniform across i normally uh, do it as a whole structure so i will choose as copper you can ch choose many other things out here copper and aluminum are uh, most uh, common the next thing which you will have to be carefully add to this particular design is coating 
so what we will do is we will capture that and add it as a whole structure I will add once again I did uh, some mess up out here I will add both the both of the loads once again first I will add this as a material okay material uh, wire load and then have copper as a material load for a whole structure once I am done with that I will add another one now this time I will add coating PVC soft material normally that uh, housing wire which I use is 1.5 square mm uh, dia PVC coated wire I have chosen 1 mm for the inner core material I will choose uh, 2 mm for uh, the core that makes uh, diameter of entire uh, wire as 4 mm so I have done two type of loading one is a uh, material of the uh, conductor and second is dielectric uh, around the conductor okay now my design has got almost uh, practical type of parameter okay now you can see the coating has actually brought down the frequency of resonance that means when it is a pure copper wire without any coating it was resonating at 14.1 megahertz now the same thing is resonating at lower frequency so what it means is i have to decrease the length of the wire now it has come to around uh, 14 uh, 13.95 or somewhere okay now to get back to the original state i can edit the length also here also 14.9 i will make and i will run the simulation once again now you can see that it is uh, resonating at 14.25 okay now again i will um, reduce this to uh, increase this to 14.095 i will do the frequency simulation sweep simulation once again and it will now be around same characteristics okay but there is no change in the radiation pattern okay the length has come down from 5.15 to 4.95 that is around 20 centimeters lesser when it is uh, pvc coated housing wire than the bare copper standard wire okay that is very important to understand so i will save this as a vertical demo neck file i will elevate the antenna by one meter and uh, what i will do is i will add two horizontal radiators for this okay of the same length 40 uh, 4.95 i will increase this 4.95 i just want to show you how actually we design uh, this okay 4.95 i will keep this uh, uh, horizontal as 5 for, for now uh, this is just to show you how actually uh, i model the elevated vertical antenna with the two radials right and then uh, I will do the sweep once again and uh, definitely there will be a difference in the resonance because now I have uh, lifted the antenna above the ground level adding uh, two resonating uh, wires so it has gone up so I will have to bring down we'll increase this from 14.95 to 5 meters this also I will make it as 5 meters let us keep the same I will see how actually this behaves right now it is same so what we will do is we will increase this also now so now you can see that frequency is starting to come down I will increase it to 5.1 this also 5.1 it may okay now i have moved everything to 5.1 so now it has come down to somewhere here right so by this you can actually uh, make the resonance available and uh, for the elevated also the characteristic of the power field radiation pattern remains almost the same the more you uh, take the antenna up the capacitive coupling between these horizontal elements and the ground decreases right so let us see how actually it matters uh, for us from one meter above the ground i have moved it to 
five meters okay now let us see how the uh, resonance works here so now the resonance has is actually increased or, or uh, is uh, around the same but most importantly you see that the resistive part the resistance r part pure part has decreased a lot what does this indicate is also that because it is coupled to the ground we have higher coupling loss now since we have moved it up there is a reduction of resistance and also another aspect which we can see is we can make it as a free space okay free space antenna in a free space also we can see that the resistance is around 22 okay now we'll bring down this to just to check how that matters right in free space i just wanted to show you free space is there is no ground around this particular antenna the pure radiation resistance of the antenna system itself is 22.3 okay the moment i make the ground as some ground like mini neck ground average ground let us take okay radiation resistance increases around 32 so 10 ohms has increased now i will use sea water as a ground and see if there is any any further increase right here also it's around 32 so basically what i showed earlier also when the ground is uh, sea water or good ground the radiation resistance here what is shown in the in the model does not change that much i think there is a definitely a change outside the parameter of four neck two modeling but the height above the ground definitely matters more and more capacitive loading when you are near to the ground let us say i decrease this from 1 meter to 0.5 meters right so here although the uh, the the frequency has gone down in resonance you can see that it has increased a little bit normally in my field operations i keep it at around 1 to 1.5 meters above the ground level and based on my resonance requirements bend these radials towards the ground at some angle i will tie them these radials um, distance far away from from the vertical to the ground with some rocks and uh, i will ensure that these radials are at least a couple of feet above the ground even when they are slanted also when you are on seawater ensuring that these radials does not touch the sea water even in the high tide is very important because otherwise you will have a wavering swr this is about uh, the basics of antenna creation there are a lot of other aspects here for example using the transmission lines which uh, can be explored further by any enthusiast thank you hope this particular piece has helped you in understanding and furthering your knowledge i normally work with this particular modeling uh, once I get to know about uh, basics, I uh, try to uh, implement my uh, model on the field. Obviously, it is not going to be accurate, plus or minus 5%. Okay, but it gives me some satisfaction that I understand the model. I understand how the antenna works, how the, uh, how the antenna radiates uh, and all that. Hope you like this uh, introduction to the models and uh, you will also try this modeling to understand your antennas and design your own antennas. Have a great DX and thank you.